Like, see, this one has shields. And cloaking. I could actually transport onto it. But I'm not really inclined to do so. Whoa! <laughs> the asteroid actually killed my defense drone instead of the defense drone shooting it. How horribly typical. So, I could board this and try and take out the piloting, but let's see how the fight goes first, because maybe I won't have to. Because I don't particularly like boarding ships that have cloaking. Just gonna go for it any second now. Wow, it has level 3 cloaking, so that takes forever. So we're gonna try and take out their cloaking next. And fail. Okay. After their next cloak, I'm just going to board them and take on their piloting, because they don't threaten me as much. Because these guys can breathe and all of this stuff. Good, that's what we want to see. So we're going to get this out right now. That's how you do it. Yeah, you're not cloaking now, buddy. There we go. All in all, we get one extra fuel. All in all, that was good. That was good. Good use of our tactics, good use of getting our people the hell out in time. Good use of having a crap ton of scrap that I'm sitting on now. Okay, you have nothing for me, so I'm gonna fight you and hopefully not get droned to death, which is exactly what's happening, so... see if we can do this. Yeah, I'm going to have to take a baby break here in a second, probably. Let me pause it real quick. Okay, back to recording. Not a false alarm, but we'll just keep it on standby. Because we are about to board this in effort. So lock it down. It's a, once again, a pretty horrible fight. Let's see if we can actually take down a system or two here. Yay, come on, shields. Come on weapons that get hit way too hard. Wow. Wow! Wow. Okay. Well, it looks like I know what mode we're in now, which is... Oh my god, our ship's getting obliterated mode. As long as I can keep the shields holding, as long as I can keep my crystal crew alive. As long as I can actually lock down the crew so that they don't... ...say, get away. 
whatever it is they're trying to do. I guess since I dorked that up, I might as well take this opportunity to heal my guys a little. Just what we wanted, a breach in that system. Emily, how are you doing? You're okay. Let's have you two team tag team repair. Guess what, your FTL got delayed. I'm not going to accept that surrender. Do I board? Right now, just one guy left. Yeah, because I'm not going to. There's no ship fires. We'll just take all of our weapons down. We just got to kill the one guy. That's it. Before I see myself do anything stupid. Okay, 5 fuel, 65 scrap. That was worth not taking a surrender. Now get off the freaking ship before you attack. Because that's exactly how I killed my last team of uh, Crystal Warders. Is the ship was down to one health and they just attacked the system. And it wasn't like that time where they auto-attacked it afterwards. It was, oh, look at me, I'm not paying attention to the health of anything. So this is as good as I've ever done, having so little weapon power. In fact, I'd be more responsible if I just actually up that one. So do we have anything floating in space? Calm your nerves. Alright, so we got ship, store, ship. Plenty of time. We will want to do some repairs. Rejecting their offer. And that's why we reject their offer. Because we want to get on there as fast as possible. But to do that, we're going to have to burn through some stuff. Hopefully. Any time now. Okay. That was what we call bad. But I don't think I'll need to vent out all the air, actually. I may actually be able to handle this fire. If I can just take out what I need to take out here. Please hit. Thank you. I can live with that. Put it out, put it out. Touch, you'll be okay. So, alternate lockdown. Do I have a surprise for you, buddy? Yep, that just happened. So by the time that burst laser gets to fire again, it's going to be dead. Just don't really want fire system bombs or anything. I actually like this guy to heal up if possible before the bombs go off. Good. 60 scrap. And I'm not even rolling with the scrap recovery armor. So everybody heals, everybody wins. Because why not have everything on fire? That's just the name of the game. 
actually did that without some shields that I thought I'd need, so... Store, be good to me. Gonna need some fuel and repairs with Love Cloaking, which you won't be selling today. Hull Repair Drone. It's not bad. It's actually better than any kind of repair I can buy. So I'll get that. I don't know, do I need missiles? Might as well buy them while I'm here, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of a repair. Hull repair drone, do your thing. Let's see here. Do I lose a. Uh, let's see how this works. To, and does the drone recovery arm work here or after? We'll find out. Because all this fails, I'll have plenty of excess drones by the time this is all said and done. So since we don't have cloaking right now, let's do this. Get some more dodge in place. Would especially help if Mara was back on the engines. So weird to have so many slugs. Also help if I actually powered my men bay. Anybody else hurt? I don't believe so. So we'll see. If I can get an extra drone on my jump, that's fine. So probably just this one and then I'll have to exit. So we'll never surrender. Yeah, so I don't exactly know how the bug exploit. I don't know what people are calling it these days. It's going to work. You are an idiot. And not just any kind of idiot. A dead idiot. You know what? I don't even care that you're both in this room with me. Because you all aren't going anywhere. Two breaches, not bad. That's how you do it. Boom, you're dead. And we get one recomposed person to join our crew. Sorry, human. Just kick you right back out. Does that mean I'm a nice guy? I don't know. So I guess since Dangler actually had to do some fisticuffs there, put him back on. This is a little bit of a weird loadout for me, but. Like I said, my primary goal with this, winning's great, I haven't won in a while. But barring that, just unlocking the Crystal B. Oh, well. Do I want to try that one and take on the exit? I mean, it can't be that bad, it's just the Federation. Ah, I always, I'm getting those confused all of a sudden. So, two fuel for two drone parts. Doesn't really help me. Uh, this is going to be a four shield ship, which would be a pretty good test to see how I do against it. Oh, only three shields. Oh, that is a bunch of big scaries. So I'll tell you what we're going to do, kiddos. I'm going to try and burn it. Burn it down, burn it to the ground. This is where cloaking would once again be fantastic to have, but... 
can't always pick what you get or don't get. And I worry that those missiles are the same flavor or variety, and I should already be jumping. Because all we're going to do is just lock you down and kill you. Hit. Damn it. Okay, well, here goes the neighborhood. Okay, four hull damage. Not ideal. But they are going to die in just a minute. So. so, one fuel. All repair drone, go. And like I said, I'm sure there's something where I think maybe if I jump while it's going, I'll be able to recover it or something ridiculous, but not really out here to exploit or whatever you want to call it, just trying to do some FTL and bob my head to the beat of these guys repairing, so let's get whoever else needs healing, which is nobody else right now. Alright, so Liam, you got some specialties going on. So that'll be the next sector. And it looks like there's no rock sector for me, so we are going to hit the uh, Uncharted Nebula. I don't know, Uncharted Nebula can be good because there's a lot of jumps, but it's the pirate one that's going to have more ships to fight, I think. So it's kind of a tricky conundrum here, because one gives me more jumps, more opportunities to kill things, the other one is more inclined just to get more ships, so let's go pirate. And we do have some nebulas that we are going to be trying to play in here. I guess the first question is, is any of this connected? Surely one of these will have an exit. I'm going to have to reject that, even though I'm starting to get a little worried about my drone situation. For some reason, even though I have the recovery on. So there's a store. Let's see if I can get enough for cloaking. That's f oh wow. Okay. If that's how you want to play this. That is a uh, that's a lot of firepower. And already one in the shields. It's like one in the nets. Fortunately, this isn't a very heavily crewed ship. I am a little worried about did I just put myself on fire? I did not, so. don't really know what weapons I managed to take out, if any. In fact, I might as well just bomb them. Sure beats the alternative. Okay, 
Okay, I don't know what you're trying to do, but... That is some of the stupidest AI action I've seen here. For some reason, he's not dying. So, hopefully you don't get burned. Okay, so one system damage, you're gonna die, so... Hooray, let's get off this fucking boat. Refuel and 70 scrap. I like those numbers. Hey, look, our engines are on fire. Let's jump anyway. And it doesn't matter because we've just encountered somebody who's taking out our engines regardless, so. Good for them. Poor Touch is still on fire, but. Just gonna have to wait the transport on. Pilot's going down first. Okay, so what kind of bomb is that? Whatever it is, it's about to hit our weapons. So probably best to just try and unload. up. I think this guy will get over to the other side by the time the fight's over. So let's see here. Okay, what's going on? We don't have three shields for some reason. So let's go ahead and lock this down again. Prevent you guys from running. So this fight should be over in just a minute, preferably without me getting killed. There we go, two fuel, 40 scrap. I actually did that one with all... I seem to have gone from no system power to a sweet, sweet excess of it. But that's kind of what you want to have happen, so I don't really mind. Let's go ahead and have our sluggies repair. Emily, you need to heal too. And since we're jumping to a store anyway, thank goodness I didn't squander that one. If I can get cloaking, that'd be great. Firebomb is so tempting. Pike beam is so tempting. Hull laser too. On the other hand, that actually seems like a really good trade-up. There's three laser shots. So let's see here. Do I really need the whole repair? I know I spent 100 scrap on it, and you could say LOL. Well, first off, if we're going to ditch the whole repair, and I think we are, we might as well get use out of it one more time. Pink. 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 Oh, four repair. Yay. And can I do it again? Yes. So that's going to be the last one. Did it pay for itself? I don't know. 
So let's just defense drone. We have three. We should be able to get a few more drone parts by the time this is all said and done. So bye bye hull repair. Bye bye ion blaster. Not bad at all. But we want cloaking and we want a hull laser. All right, so pike beam would be fun to have too, but can't have it all. I will buy one drone just as insurance in case I have some bad luck with things blowing up. Our next 75 scrap is going into weapon systems because that whole laser two is going to make a huge difference. I only need level one cloaking. So how's our ship doing just in terms of stuff? I have a lot of systems. That's pretty exciting. I'd give a Kestrel achievement. I think, yeah. So, another easy fight with a lot of scary looking stuff. And now that I can cloak, this isn't so bad. I almost just accidentally cloaked right there. Alright, so lock it down. Okay, so lots of shit coming from all over the place. I actually missed time to cloak there. Lock down that room a second time. They don't need to do too much here. Don't need to do too much here. Look, they died. Just like that. And we get a prisoner who's actually going to be joining our crew instead of the slug that isn't doing a lot, so... Slugs are helpful. But that's free energy, so... Easy choice. Actually, in fact, I really should have... How many jumps has it been now that I haven't had my people on their appropriate systems? Wow, okay. I'm just apparently floating an autopilot where I have my uh, key people in different places. So, Emily, you're not even Max, and you probably would be by now. So, as soon as I can get some more system power, and I'll probably give that distress beacon a try, but we are going to play in the nebula as much as possible. Alright. Hey guys. How are we going to teleport into your Zoltan shield? Saw that on Reddit recently. So. I don't know what just happened there, but. Probably. Nothing too great for me. So we're just going to fire away. Guess just I uh, bomb their shield room and hope for the best. Okay, that's why we transport on. So lock it down. By the way, all the whole reason I'm trying to stagger pause here is just because I want to 
make sure I can actually destroy their med bay and all that. That's it. Nothing too exciting. So right now the ship isn't very threatening. It's not friendly or anything, but... I can take down some of their weapons. I'd feel a little better about my chances. Okay, so Liam, please don't die on me. Thank you. So let's see, is any of these guys really appealing to me right now? I don't know. NG might not be bad. But I think everybody else has a role right now. Because we do want one fire suppressor guy. We have our combat guys, so... Sorry, Scoops. Usually I'm very happy to take on an NG. Today just seems to be a little bit of a different day. So now suddenly we have... Okay, I'm actually going to ignore that distress beacon and go straight for the nebula because I want to be able to jump around in it. So let's see here. How many more? So one more available system power and we can have a crazy stupid gunboat. In fact, I could have a crazy stupid gunboat already. Alright, back to it. <laughs> So, nebula time. Been boarded! Hey guys. Please board me in the med bay with my max combat people who are going to lock you in. Not the brightest bulbs on the block. Unfortunately, this fight also gives us no scrap. So stagger those lockdowns. So I just got to get... I guess it's gonna have to aim for the flagship fight to get that uh, achievement. Which is alright. I mean, obviously we'll have to make it there first, but... Let's see what we can do in Dancing in the Nebula. Silence. I was really hoping for a fight here. I was not hoping for an Ion Storm. Avoid the risk. We're not killing our crew. So one fight. 62 scrap and uh, actually dismissing a uh, Mantis. That's different. So let's see here. Let's just go to the exit. Surrender your goods, Yar. They want to go. Well, if you want to go, you're going to have to go through me. Wow, I actually haven't maxed my shields here. So that might be a uh, good idea to do at some point before the final fight. Just makes it easier. It's not really a requirement. So let's see if I can lure... Well, we'll just... we'll go for the, uh... I don't know. I think I'll go for the drone control here. So my first priority is obviously taking out... Wow, it actually transported outside of there. Okay. Okay, that's a bomb that missed, thank goodness. Unfortunately, mine did too. So as long as your FTL remains delayed, we're in okay shape. Okay, I have no med bay, let's fix that. So that's an anti-ship drone too, and I'm not a fan. So 
Damn it, guys. Seriously. We are going to have to do this the old-fashioned way, aren't we? Because this is getting a little wacky. Okay, well. Third time's the charm. There we go. There you go, let's set your med bay on fire. How do you like that on fire med bay? This is actually a surprisingly challenging fight. This is where drones can be really scary. So I am no longer going to board this ship because it's just asking for me to get my face killed. Get it? Oh, damn. That's especially, that's another good reason to not board when their jump looks imminent, because I probably would have just been stuck and lost my crew that way. <laughs> 